videos um, teaching you people out there how you can master the uh, training, training you all the skills of driving and for the future it will help you to pass your driving test. So are you already out there? If so, let's go. Hi there, Ridwan. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Good to see you. Um, welcome to the world of driving. Okay. Uh, today's lesson will be about the cockpit drill, about the controls, and then we will move on to moving off and stopping. Mm -hmm. Now, briefly, I will mention how you should um, get into the car. Now, when you open the door, you should take extra care when you look around, make sure there's no cars coming, and then you enter the car. Now, when you actually get into the car, there is what we uh, do, we do a check for the cockpit. Could you repeat the thing? Cockpit. Cockpit. You like the kind of thing with the cockpit, so that's, that's what we uh, mentioned. The cockpit. Now, it's very important that you make these checks so you are comfortable in the car and you can reach all the controls of the car comfortably. So the first thing you must make sure, number one, that you make sure all the doors are closed. Okay. Okay? Later on in your life when you have your knees, your nephews and maybe your, your own children, they'll get into the car and you know they may not close the car properly. So I'm gonna open the door, okay, and I'm gonna close it. Okay? Now, is this door closed? Yes. Okay. Now, how do you know it's closed? From the sound. From the sound, okay. Let's try again because... Um, now, is this door closed? No. It's not closed. How do you know? There is no faint sound. Yeah, basically you can tell, you can uh, tell in the sound. Also, if you look into the mirror, you can see this, the unevenness of the door panels. It's not closed. So, the sound is the best way to know if the doors are closed. So make sure be careful that you listen to the. Mm. You know, there's a secure sound telling you that this door is shut. Mm -hmm. So, number one, make sure all the doors are closed. Number two, make sure your seating position is correct. We're going to keep this brief so we don't want to bore you with them um, too much. So, we'll keep it nice and brief. So, if you, if you know there's, a, there's three pedals in front of you, now the one in front of your left feet, what is that? You know? It's that clutch. That's okay, the clutch. Yeah. Now, push that down for me. Now, when you push it down, is it going down all the way? Yeah. Without you stretching and without it being too close? Let the clutch up slowly again. Let the clutch up slowly. Hopefully. Now, do you feel do you feel comfortable comfortable when you put it up and down? Yes, I do. You do, yeah? So it's going down all the way mm. and you can let it up all the way, yeah. Comfortably, yeah? yeah? Okay, that's fine in that case. So you're seating position is correct okay. now we move move on to the uh, steering wheel i'd like you to hold the steering wheel yeah. okay now are you stretching no. are your hands stretching to hold the steering wheel no no which is and you, your hands are slightly bent as well so there's a curve which means you, you, you look very comfortable now how you know the steering wheel is correct number one you see the wrists yeah can you put place that on the top of the steering wheel my wrist yeah and the other hand as well now, to do that, are you stretching? Are you moving away from the seat too much? Yes, yeah, slightly. You are? Yeah. Um, I, I, when I mean are you stretching, are you not sitting back? No. No? no? How, how are you feeling? Are you stretching? Yeah. Well, My body's moving forward slightly. It's moving forward slightly. In that case, you may have to uh, get the back rest just a little bit. Let go now, let go, let go, let go the handle. Yeah, that's brought the back press forward a bit. Mm -hmm. Now, put your wrist. Yeah, that's much more better. Yeah, so you got, you're resting, your back is resting on the seat. 
and yeah. Now, if for example, if you couldn't put the wrists on top of the steering wheel because you are stretching or you have to move forward, that means the backrest is incorrect. You have to adjust it. Okay. We'll quickly move on to the headrest. The headrest is behind you, yeah? Yeah. Now, again, it's there for safety. How do you know it's correct? It's aligned with the middle. Basically, if you, if, if you touch your eyes with your fingers, yeah? yeah. Uh, look at me, look at me. And then just take it back. Now, your eye should be the middle of the headrest. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Now, do, do that. So put your, okay. your right hand or your left hand on the, on, on the eyes, yeah? And then take it to the... Yeah, that looks okay. Yeah. So your eyes are at the middle of the headrest. Now, there's a button here. Just turn over. If you press that, Basically, you press it and then you can take it up and yeah. down, but there is no need to adjust the at all. So, so far we have covered um, the seat, the steering, the headrest, yeah. uh, and now I'd like you to put the seat button. Sure. Well done. Do you know why you put the seat button? Safety. Safety, good. And number two, it is the law. Okay, we'll keep it there. Okay. Now, Final check is the mirrors. Now, this is a very important check because a lot of um, experienced drivers sometimes they even forget what they should be looking in the uh, mirrors. So, I'll briefly explain to you about the mirrors. Now, if you look at this picture with one, um, you can see this is the entire mirror here. Yes? Mm -hmm. Now, what do you see in that entire mirror? Any idea? Basically, how do you know the setting is correct? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Good. Okay. What you want to see in this mirror is the back window. Okay. The back window should be inside this yeah. mirror. So have a look. Is the, is the back window inside the mirror? Yeah. It is, yeah? And you can see the back, yes? Mm -hmm. And it should be tilted slightly to the off side, which means the right side. Okay. Is that, is that tilted slightly to the right? Yes. Sir. Yes. So that is correct. Okay. Now let's move on to the mirror on the right. If you look at this picture here, yeah. okay, this diagram is trying to show you the car is yellow. So what it's trying to show you is that you're going to see a bit of the car on the side, here, yeah. okay. and most of it should be the outside. Then it's trying to show you the height as well. It's trying to show you a car should be visible in the middle. Here, you should see a bit of the road and a bit of the sky. Now you can adjust this in modern cars nowadays there's a button there yeah. okay and there's also first of all you have to slide this to the right so you can work on the right one here which is already there yeah, yeah. now to adjust it you will have to um, <coughs> put the, uh, the electric on you know how to put the electric on yeah. you just turn the key okay. you started the engine which is okay, okay. which is okay <laughs> fair enough now uh, have a look at the mirror. Do you need to yeah. adjust it first of all? No. You don't need to adjust it. Good, okay. What about the one on the left? What I mentioned for the right is for the yeah, yeah. left. Does that need adjusting? It doesn't, okay? Alright, that's excellent. Now we have covered what we call the cockpit grill. Mm. Yeah? Now let's just quickly recap. Okay. Okay? So number one, once you get into the car, what do you do first? What do you check? Um, number one is the doors. Number two is the clutch. Seating. Seating, yes. Um, you actually check the push the clutch to see if you can yeah. reach the pedals. Yeah. So number two is the seat. And next it is the steering wheel. Yeah. And then obviously you check the headrest. Yeah. You put the seat belt on. And finally you check the mirrors. After you make these checks, you are ready to drive. Okay?